Good day everyone. In the news is an article in IOL that says his former Chief Justice Mohoeng Mohoeng uh, will be running for the presidency. And I mean, this is a problematic statement because to run for the presidency in the current system, you need to have enough seats in parliament to actually vote for you as the president because we don't elect our president, parliament does. And in this article in IOL, where you'll find the link in the description below the video as well as in the first comment it says former chief justice mohoing mohoing would be contesting for the presidency in the next government elections and i was aware of plans to call on chief justice mohoing mohoing to resign as the chief justice more than two years ago and to actually run for the presidency then when there was a call for direct elections from the new nations movement but it looks like mohoing mohoing has now teamed up with the All African Alliance Movement, which launched earlier this year, announced on Friday that Mohoeng had accepted the nomination of president of this movement. The movement's intention was to contest the 2024 general elections. And in a video that was shared on social media, Mohoeng and his wife, Mama Pefu, are seen standing next to each other holding hands when he is introduced as a new leader and president of the movement in his home in Mafeking. Now, a few alarm bells that went up is the fact that this uh, movement seems to be based on religion. And I believe that in South Africa, we need uh, political movements that include everybody. And when you don't do that, it causes boxes, it causes division. And I always worry about things like that. I've not met, met Mohoing Mohoing. I don't know what his intentions are and what he actually stands for. And... It needs to be tested against all the test questions that I have on freedom. So there's a new movement that have registered with the IEC. Mohoeng is now uh, has accepted to be the president of that movement. And they would need enough seats in parliament for those people then to vote for him, which would uh, need more than 200 votes for him to become president of the country. Because that is how it actually works works i think this is an uh, interesting development that's been in the making for a very long time he's always had his aspirations on becoming president of south africa i've known about this for the past three years and it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and now we can actually see where his loyalty lies he has certainly been a help with certain things and with other things he has not been a help so it's going to depend on the person at the end of the day i will never support a specific individual i will always look at what they do and then either criticize or support a specific action and with mohoeng mohoeng time will tell we will be able to see how people feel about him as a person many people have asked Tuli Marancela to also run as president of the country but for us to elect our president we would need a new electoral system we would need to change the constitution to do that and Raymond Zondo has alluded to that in his Zondo report. And this is something that maybe mainstream people should be thinking about seriously. And pushing the narrative, talking about it with your friends and family. That we need to directly elect our leaders is a better way of electing leaders. And then the way we do it needs to be in such a way that we can hold them accountable. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos. Thank you very much. Till the next video.